The Magic Porridge Pot, retold by Alan MacDonald and illustrated by Jan Lewis. Once a girl called Rose lived with her mother in a tiny cottage. They were so poor that there was hardly a bean in the house to eat. One day, poor Rose felt so hungry that she ran into the woods and wept. You poor girl! said a voice. What's the matter? The voice belonged to a kind old lady. When she heard how hungry Rose was, the old lady gave her a present. A magic cooking pot! The old lady explained. Just say the words, cook, cook, little pot, make me porridge piping hot, and the pot will cook you a meal. But when the porridge is cooked, you must say, stop, stop, little pot, no more porridge, that's the lot. Rose was overjoyed. She ran home and showed her mother the magic cooking pot. Cook, cook, little pot, make me porridge, piping hot, said Rose. No sooner had she spoken than the pot began to boil and bubble. The tiny cottage was filled with a dreamy, creamy smell. Mm. When the porridge was ready, Rose said, Stop, stop, little pot, no more porridge, that's a lot. Then Rose and her mother ate and ate till they could eat no more. From that day on, they were never hungry again. All they had to do was say the magic words and in no time a pot of hot porridge stood on the table. Every day they invited their neighbours for breakfast and for dinner and for tea. Things went on like this until one day... (gasps) Rose went out for a walk up the hill while her mother cleaned the cottage. Soon the mother felt hungry and said, Cook, cook, little pot, make me porridge, piping hot. Then she went back to her cleaning. She was so busy that she forgot all about the magic cooking pot. Oh no, the porridge boiled and bubbled. It rose and rose. Till at last, (gasps) it overflowed. The porridge spilled onto the table and then it spilled onto the floor. The porridge oozed around her feet and ran out of the kitchen door. Stop! Halt! This is potty! Stop! Enough! cried the mother. But try as she might... She couldn't remember the magic words. The pot went on cooking and cooking. Down in the town, the people couldn't believe their eyes. My hat! The porridge oozed down the pavements. And then it poured into the square. And then it rose up to everyone's knees and carried off the Lord Mayor. At last, Rose came home from her walk. At the gate, she stopped and stared. A sea of porridge was coming towards her. Help! Rose! cried her mother. Please, make it stop! Rose took one look and shouted, Stop, stop, little pot! No more porridge, that's the lot! And do you know what happened? The magic pot stopped cooking. Thank goodness, said her mother, wiping porridge from her eyes. Down in the streets, the people cheered. Rose had saved the town from sinking in porridge. Hooray, was saved! But there was still one small problem. What could they do with all that porridge? Porridge for porky pigs, porridge cake, a porridge pool and a porridge sculpture. That's the end of our story. Thank you so much for listening. I really hope you enjoyed the magic porridge pot. I certainly did. Come back tomorrow on to Miss Beebe's books where I'll be reading a different story. Bye bye for now.